Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. Just got my backbone straight and told my soon-to-be ex I'm not waiting for him to decide if he wants to fight for us. I'm talking to a divorce lawyer tomorrow. The man that I love more than life itself told me on June 24th that he has been cheating with a coworker. He thinks he loves her more than me and wants to leave me for her. I called my mother-in-law and told her, and she and the rest of the family were completely in disbelief. Nobody knew about the affair or even thought him capable of doing that. At her request, my soon-to-be ex came to stay with her. Everyone is trying to get him to go to counseling because they think he's had a mental breakdown, isn't in his right mind, etc. They all thought he and I were the perfect couple, and we have been together for an entire decade. Since he told me, I have been going through hell because I did not expect this at all. I love him, I care about him, etc. He said he needed time to think, to decide. He was going to go to counseling before he decided. He never reached out to me all that time. If we talked, I was the one who initiated it. I've spoken to his mother-in-law almost every day as well as everyone else in his family. They are all heartbroken and think he's making the biggest mistake of his life. I'm very close with all of them. I was feeling like a fool waiting on him to decide if our commitment to each other was important enough to try to go to counseling. I called him to come over to tell him that I was making the decision for him. We both cried. He said that he can't fight for us. And I said he could if he wanted to, but he is making the decision to not. So I'm ending it for him. We don't have kids. We don't have a house. I've been the breadwinner ever since I started my career four years ago. I don't rely on him for any financial support. He relied on me for that. It's been less than two weeks since this went down, and I'm a little afraid I was being too hasty, but my parents did not raise a doormat. I can stand on my own two feet. This is going to hurt like hell for a long time. I know that. I'm going to a counselor for myself in a few weeks. I feel better for the first time since he told me. I feel like I've regained control. I may feel like a pitiful mess tomorrow. We will see. Small update. Not cleaning up after his mess anymore. Listening to whatever music I want to without headphones and dancing in the kitchen. Finding a friends with benefits who will do all of those things my ex was too afraid to try in the bedroom. Not paying for all his wine and vape juice anymore. Buying myself a car instead of saving up to replace his old car. Watching whatever I want instead of having to watch the sci-fi crap he liked. Meeting new people and trying new hobbies. Not worrying about him cheating on me or trying to get through to him. Most importantly, learning who I am again as a single, independent woman and learning to put myself first. D-Day was back in June and it's been a roller coaster ride, but dang, I feel good and centered right now. Update. I'm 100% legally divorced and here X isn't doing so well. My divorce was finalized last week. I went to default because my ex just never responded and the judge signed off. When I got the decree email from my attorney, I laughed and smiled out of relief and then cried a little bit, you know, because of feelings. Then, after work, I bought champagne and the guy I'm seeing came over to my place, toasted with me, took me to bed and made me forget all about it. The weekend before my ex brother-in-law and his fiance came over to hang out and catch up. We're still close. They told me that my ex-husband and his affair partner broke up sometime last month and he hasn't been handling it well drowning his sorrows every night in a heroic amount of whiskey. Upon hearing that, I immediately felt heartbroken for him. Obviously, he is reaping what he's sown. Left a loyal wife for a mentally unstable infatuation situation. And you wonder why it didn't work? Suppose the grass isn't greener on the other side. I realized then that I do not hate my ex-husband. I accept that the man that I thought had strong character and infallible morals was just a flawed man that talked a good game. And he wasn't that strong after all. Here's hoping he gets to the help he needs. I look in the mirror today and I see who had the strength in the relationship, the one who made it all happen, the steady, true, reliable pillar that kept the walls up. I remember so vividly feeling lost without him right after I found out. Now I see he is the one who is lost. I still have my days of feeling off and feeling sad, but I don't miss my ex-husband. I don't miss who I used to be with him. This woman right here and right now is having a good time and continually learning who she is and what she wants, and above all, she knows her worth. Final update. My husband admitted to having an affair in June of 2020. I kicked him out the next month and got officially divorced without any cooperation from him in November of 2020. I heard from my ex-laws that he and his little affair partner didn't work out about four months after I kicked him out, apparently because he blamed her for ruining my marriage. Earlier this week, the ex-laws, who I'm still relatively close with, let me know that he knocked up this same girl last fall and she is due to birth their child next month. Supposedly, this was an accident and he and her weren't really serious when the conception happened. 
also dating other people. When he was asked how he could know the baby was actually his, the answer he gave was, she wouldn't do that to me. Reportedly, she doesn't want the kid and is supposed to hand over the baby to my ex-husband after the delivery. I've never known him to want kids either, but I also never knew him to be a cheater until he was one. This man almost cannot take care of himself. He relies heavily on my ex-mother-in-law, but yet he's planning to raise a baby girl on his own. My heart breaks for the baby. My ex-laws apparently had a discussion about who should tell me the news, and my ex-sister and brother-in-law said they'd do it. I think it's strange the family was so concerned about how I'd react. I was a little shocked, but honestly, I'm just so relieved I'm not in that situation with him. I hope he turns out to be a good father for that baby's sake, but I don't have high expectations. Our one and only community comment for this story comes from I Eat Hair Ladies Parts. Bullet dodged. Give yourself a pat on the back. On to the next story. Wait, what? So I often hang out with my husband's group of friends. He has known them forever, and I've been with him forever. Weddings, birthdays, vacations, christenings, you name it, I've attended. So let's call him Rich. Has had a long-term girlfriend, Molly, for the last 10 or so years. We see each other all the time. So imagine my surprise when I run into Rich and some lady at the mall. Now, to be honest, I didn't think anything of it. I saw him and I said, Hey, you coming on Saturday, right? He said, Hey T, yeah, I'll be there. Meet my wife, X. You're what now? I was so shocked I was stunned into complete silence. I mean, I could not form words. I had this weird out-of-body experience that I didn't even realize I was in my dang car driving home. I didn't even recall what I said to these people. Did I even reply? So come to find out, Molly is his mistress. This lady who's been to every event with this man is not his wife. How the hell? Like how? Please explain. This man has brought his mistress to no less than four weddings. One was in another country. How does your husband spend all this time away from you? 10 years? We hang out as a group at least once a month. Even during COVID, we did online drinking game crap. Never met whatever her name was. Now I'm weird around Molly. I'm just so uncomfortable with it all. Haven't said a thing, but I can't look at them the same. Do you think I should say something to Molly? She must know he's married, right? You can't be a mistress for 10 years and not know. I'm just so dang confused. Now I'm looking at my husband side-eyed. Our first reaction from the community comes from ill-tempered 1978. Ask your husband about the relationship. It may not be as traditional as you assumed it to be. The OP replies, I did ask, and yes, all the friends know. He said he didn't know if the wife and Molly knows, and he has seen this wife a handful of times, so he doesn't know her that well, and to keep my mouth shut as it's none of my business. My husband and I are not in the best place, so this is my anxiety high, thinking he has a Molly too. I wish I didn't know, to be honest. I don't deal well with secrets. Anyway, I've decided not to say anything for now, but I feel so guilty as I would want to know, but I'm not the friend. These men are my husband's childhood friends since grade school, and they would kill for each other. So I'm going to remove myself from the friend group so I don't open my big mouth. One more thought from Methodology. Yeah, ask your husband. Maybe he already knew? From the story, it sounds like Rich was pretty casual. Didn't behave like a person getting caught out, etc. My money is on some sort of scenario where his wife probably knows about his mistress. It sounds like a long-term, non-monogamous arrangement to me. Maybe she has lovers too. Who knows? Update us? Not going to update us and moving on to the next story. My friend caught his wife cheating. Viewer discretion is advised. I felt like posting this because it needed to be out there. My friend, 24 male, caught his wife, 22 female, of a year and a half cheating on him. The way he told me is, they were fighting a week prior and because they lived with her mother at the time. The wife and the mother were getting ready to leave for their assumed to be dick appointments. The friend made it known that he didn't trust the wife and the mother. The mother got mad but they left only for the mother to text him a long, angry rant about how he had no respect and he failed to take care of her daughter. He tried getting his wife to move out multiple times, but she refused to leave her mom's home because no rent and her mom paid for everything. She asked him to move out and so he did, packed up his things and left. His wife told him to move back in a week later as soon as the mother cooled down. The friend did move back a week later. However, he walked into the home with his brother-in-law after visiting his father-in-law for a bit. My friend said he knew something was wrong as soon as he went to go open their bedroom door. It was locked, and my friend said she never locked the door. But after a few minutes, she opens the door and slips out, making it obvious she was hiding something. His wife tells him, Let's go out for a smoke. He says, All right, but wait. Quickly, he walks past her and opens the door. 
He takes a quick survey of the room and you notice that his blanket was covering his clothes and it was odd. He goes to grab the blanket and there it was. His wife's side piece, laying there naked on his clothes. My friend said he blacked out because he was freaking furious. His brother-in-law told him he came into the room because his sister was screaming like a banshee. Brother-in-law saw my friend's shirt ripped open because his wife was trying to get him to stop beating up the man she was screwing minutes ago. My friend came too and said he remembers picking up that guy like a bowling ball and throwing him out on the front lawn. The man got up and ran down the street, naked. Wife goes after him and checks on him. Her excuse for following him was, She had to make sure everyone was safe. Friend picked up his things and moved out. After that, it all made sense. Her meth addiction, her habitual cheating, her narcissistic personality all came full circle. A whole year after that, she still bothered him. With messages of hating him, about her men she was with after, bragged to him about what she would do for the meth, how he abandoned her, he was still legally hers. She would even call him a bum because when she would ask for money and he told her he had nothing. He has since moved on and remarried, but rumor has it she got pregnant and she told people she didn't know who the dad was. Safe to say, my friend dodged a major bullet. My friend's advice is know your worth and don't let anyone take advantage of your kindness. We have a couple quick comments from the community. First one from Danny Darko 101 Why do I get all sorts of Jerry Springer vibes from reading this story? The response to that from Anon Forever, probably the meth thing, and the affair partner running naked down the road. One closing thought from The Hard Opinion. This crap is funny. Why the hell didn't he block her butt? 